if I were to describe the National Space Centre to someone who'd never visited before, um, I wouldn't use uh, things like an out-of-this-world experience just because we'd use it as much as we have to, which is people would expect that from us. But it's it's just a fun place to visit, and it's really interesting. I, I've become even more interested in space through working here, so it makes me, me biased, perhaps, in terms of how interesting I find the subject matter. But honestly, I think I can still look at the centre and imagine what it would be like if you are just uh, a young person not interested in space yet or perhaps with a, a burgeoning interest in space or even someone who, who doesn't have much of an interest. I think that you will always, ev everyone will find something here that they'll have enjoyed doing, enjoyed seeing, enjoyed learning about the planetarium, the exhibitions, the, obviously the objects that you can see as well. Um, and so yeah, I, I think I just encourage people to come because whatever you think it is, it's probably more. The National Space Centre is a visitor attraction right in the centre of the UK where we want um, anyone to be able to come and enjoy space. So be you um, a child of five or a child of 100, you can come and enjoy all the different aspects of space. It's awe-inspiring and exciting and we have um, many different artefacts and hands-on activities that you can take part in just to understand so much more about space and science. It doesn't matter what your knowledge is already, there's always something that you can find out when you get here. Out of this world experience and a fun place to visit. It's a place of awe and wonder. It's a place to tap into your curiosity about space. Um, I can guarantee you'll walk in and you'll look up and you will go, wow. It's a really impressive place um, with the most amazing people that work here and that tap into that experience um, for our visitors. National Space Centre is someone to come to get excited about space. Now that's useful because, as I say, people have very different interpretations about what space means to them. So if you're going to get someone excited about it, that's important. We're not here to lecture. You're not coming along for a PhD lesson. There's, a, there's another great terminology, threshold fear. We need to bash that down, make sure people don't feel as though they're going to be you know, put off by the subject of space or um, it's going to be too scientific or it's not for them. We've got to withdraw that threshold and make sure everybody feels welcome and everybody feels as though it's going to be exciting and enjoyable. And I think that's what, if somebody was, was asking me what it's like, I've never heard of it or I'm not sure, I think I said, well, you're, you want to come along with an open mindset and, and on the basis that it, it's an enjoyable time out. That's the, at the very least, you know, an awful lot of people come just for a great day out, you know, and it's not threatening, it's not frightening. If you want more information, then there's as much as you could possibly want because we've got some you know, world experts here who can tell you in as much depth as you want about a subject. But don't let it put you off that we have that expertise because if you're coming for a great time, you can have that too. Now, I'm going to get into trouble for this because I use this term all the, all the time, but out of this world. You know, it, and, and that is cliche and it's cheesy beyond belief. And I think, I think you can summarise it rather than in words, uh, in a moment. Um, I went downstairs for, to have a coffee, and as I went downstairs, at the time, our main entrance actually came straight into the building underneath this amazing Soyuz capsule. And as I was stood there waiting to get a coffee, a whole group of children ran in with huge excitement, and they, they had no idea what they were running into. They were on a day from school. They ran in, and the Soyuz capsule was there, and they stopped. And it was like watching children drop to the floor with the excitement of, of children, you know, the imagination, and they just saw it. It was a spaceship. How cool is that? There's a spaceship. It was like that opening scene of Star Wars when you've got the, <laughs> the Star Destroyer coming over your head, and, you know, it was that moment for me. And, and I think... To be quite honest, you, you can't say what it is in words. It's that emotion, it's that feeling, it's that moment of when I was a kid going to the Natural History Museum and looking at Dippy, uh, the Diplodocus, that was my wow moment. And I think every single day I see that wow moment. I see it as people arrive, I see it as they hear people talking, as they sit in the planetarium and see these award-winning shows. Even, even down to some things like some of the things that we stuck in the shop, you know, it's those moments of wow. So I yeah. think that's it for me. If I had to describe the National Space Centre to someone who's never been, then I'd definitely describe it as a place of wonder. It's somewhere people can come and they can completely immerse themselves in space, which, you know, everybody loves space. It's an amazing subject. Um, but we really allow our visitors to kind of feel comfortable and at ease 
and really ask those questions. There's always someone knowledgeable there to be able to answer a question. There's no such thing as a silly question. So we encourage people to walk away thinking and questioning and kind of just, just looking up, looking at the stars um, and just thinking about their place in the universe. I mean, what better place is there to work than somewhere that helps people think about that on a daily basis? It, I think it's in terms of what it does is probably the key things for me. And that is that it will, here we take what could be very complicated stories that make people feel like, oh, you know, I, I won't understand that because it's rocket science or whatever. And it feels we've got people here with the talent to translate that into everyday terms and to explain it to people. So if you've got an interest in, in space, but you maybe feel you, you might not have had the uh, education yet to, to engage with that, this is a place you can come and you can find out about it in a way that's very accessible. Um, and also quite fun, you know, there's a lot of things around. You've got, I think the balance is right between having an enjoyable fam family day out, uh, but also learning something and engaging with something, finding out things you probably didn't know, and sparking interest, hopefully, and, uh, for um, people in, to be the next generation of scientists and engineers.